Pating Reviews presents Siglent Technologies SD S1202 XE Oscilloscope. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest videos. Also, check out the link to this product in the description below to get the best possible price. Perfect for this hobbyist. This is a review of the Siglent Technologies Digital Oscilloscope. I am a relative newbie to electronics, building mostly steeper motor controllers, camera interfaces, and experimenting with ESP8266 devices. For everything but the steeper motor controls, joystick controller, I was getting by with millimeters and literally touching LEDs to different contacts to see what was hot. When I started building and facing issues getting the motors to run reliably, it was frustrating. Luckily, I caught a YouTube video that explained how to use the oscilloscope to see what signal the RDO was putting out. PCM to control the speed. I needed my own scope and not needing something fancy. Bought a kit costing about $20. I built it, put it all together, then nothing. Bought another one and was able to get it to work. Alas, it was glitchy. I did learn a lot about soldering and do recommend doing this, but it was unstable enough, my own fault, that I wanted a proper product. So I looked online and found a host of threads. Most pitted the Siljin against the Regal, especially touting the number of channels in the latter. Other threads talked about the top end frequency that each supported and how it affected the readings. It came down to the fact that the four channel high frequency oscilloscope would cost about double what I was willing to pay. Though the Rigel and Silent both had great reviews, I went with the Silent as there would be easier calculations and adjustments for this newbie to make. The main things I like about this device was the high frequency support, 200 megahertz, that would potentially allow me to troubleshoot more complex devices, example video cards, radios, etc. Two channels is one more that I'm using currently. Even for a newbie, the layout of the dials was easy to use and learn. Others had reported that the multiple button presses to get the math and other functions was annoying, but honestly, I used things like saving the to USB and some of the math functions infrequently, enough that it's not a concern. The display is easy to read. Calibrating the probes was easy using the included screwdriver and the built-in reference signal. I realized that $300 is on the high scale for a hobbyist, well maybe, but after research, this was the most feature complete in that price range. I'm very happy with this purchase and hope to not soon outgrow it. Thank you for watching this video. All the details for this product are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, if you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up.